Good morning, my friends, and thank you for joining. There's a story about a fellow who's walking down a street in New York, and he sees two workers, two city workers. One of them is digging holes, and the other one is filling the holes back up. And he's perplexed by this, and he goes over to the, these fellows, and he says, what exactly are you doing? What are you achieving? You're just digging holes, filling them back up. What's the purpose of this? And they told him, well, in truth, we are usually a team of three. One of us digs the hole. One of our friends, he puts a small little tree in, plants a tree, and the other one fills the hole back up. And our friend who usually fills in the trees, puts in the trees, he called in sick today, but just because he called in sick doesn't mean we don't have to continue our jobs. And of course, we realize how ludicrous that is because what's the purpose of digging the hole and filling it back up if you're not going to plant the tree? In other words, sometimes certain things in life are just a means to an end. There is no purpose in themselves. There's no purpose in digging a hole and filling it back up if you're not going to plant the tree. And in life, we have to make sure that we're clear about what are our, the means and what are the ends. What are the things that are just there to serve a higher goal? And we have to remember that material wealth, materialism in life is not an end. It's not a goal. It's just a way to help support a life, a meaningful life. We are here to raise a family. We're here to bring good into the world. We're here to fulfill a higher purpose, to bring light, to bring goodness into the world. And our physical sustenance, our physical wealth is just there to support it. It's a means to an end. When we lose sight of that, when we forget what the main thing is, and we forget what's a, what is the means to an end, we run into a lot of trouble in life. And this week, we're finishing a whole book of the Torah, the book of Genesis. And we end off with a statement that says, let us be strong. And it's a reminder that true strength in life comes from a life based on Torah, based on spirituality, a life in which we understand the difference between the means and the end, a life in which there is a purpose. There's a higher purpose for what we do. We understand that we are here for something beyond ourselves. We are digging holes, but we are also planting the trees. There's a means and there's also an end. That is a true, wholesome, and strong, and healthy life. Thank you for joining, and Shabbat Shalom.